Keep your heads up, beautiful, awesome family in Jesus Christ that's about to be changed and be like the angels in heaven. Here's the verse of the day, and it's Mark 10, 45. For even the Son of Man came not to be ministered unto, but to minister and to give his life a ransom for many. Hallelujah, praise you, Father, for sending him. Your only begotten child, wait for it, it will not tarry. And until he comes and gets us and takes us to the marriage supper of the Lamb, we're going to keep watching and keep waiting patiently. And I'm going to keep doing what he said. And he said to watch and that the signs would be in the sun, the moon, and the stars. And they are blatantly. And I showed you in the last video, sunspot 3442 was Yeshua and that it would be popping up the following day probably. And it did. And as you can see right on top today, 3443 and 3444 are both there. All three of them, 3442, 3443, and 3444. And here's why that's so gigantinormous. Remember, 3442 is Yeshua, the same as Yehoshua. And when you go to 3443, it's Yeshua too. And when you go to 3444, it's Yeshua too. And the definition is salvation. Acts 412, neither is there salvation in any other. For there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. Yeshua, Hamashiach, aka Jesus Christ. Wait for it. It will not tarry. And I just showed you. There's three sunspots facing earth right now, and they all mean Yeshua. Salvation. And when you go to earth sky, you can see right there, it says 2023 September equinox. All you need to know. That's because today is the last day of summer, family. And there's a lot going on. And when you scroll down, you can see right there, I highlighted it for you. When is it? The September equinox will fall at 6.50 universal time. That's 1.50 a.m. Central Daylight Time on September 23rd. And if you're on the West Coast, obviously, it ends on 11.50 tonight p.m. So in some time zones, summer ends tonight, like for me on the West Coast at 11.50 but if you're on the East Coast, summer doesn't end until 2.50 a.m. on September 23rd. And since it's at 6.50 universal time, I'll take you to Strong's, 6.50. And before we go any further, all glory to you, Father, for all your signs. And the definition is to defraud, deprive of. And when you go to Help's Word Studies, it says that 650, a posterio, comes from 575, away from, and 4732, deprive, properly keep away from someone, by defrauding, depriving, to cheat, take away what rightfully belongs to someone else. And you can see right under that, it says to rob. So two things, family. Give all the glory to our Father. And second, don't let no one rob you of your joy. Don't let no man steal your crown. All glory to our Father. In the name above every name, Jesus Christ. In 650 in Hebrew, the definition is a channel. And in Nas Exhaustive Concordance, you can see the definition is a channel. The translation, brooks, channels, ravines, streams, strong, torrents, tubes. And now I'll take you to Stellarium, to child, real time, right now. And as you can see, child is still in the woman. And you can see the comet Nishimura with its tail. And when you zoom in, I showed you today would be the day that it just passed the line. And it's headed for Gale. And Gale means wormwood. And Gale was discovered on 8-11 in 1953. And Nishimura was discovered on 8-11 in 2023, 70 years later. And as you can see right there, Yeshua, like Yeshua, the sunspots, and Yahuwah combined, is still right there in the picture and hasn't moved past her feet yet. 
And remember, Davis means the son of David. And as you can see right there, it's passing the line right now. It's on top of the star, Hezi. And as you can see right there, Didymos is still right there in the picture next to what they call Mars, the red planet. And right underneath them is the asteroid slash minor planet slash shooting star, Israel. And the star that's numbered 666 right next to it. And as you can see right there, the star Caspar, one of the wise men's name, is still right there in the picture. It's actually lining up with the sun as we go through the days. And the star America is still right there too. And that star is 916 America. And remember, the new moon was confirmed on 916. And the star Miriam still right there too, right next to Yeshua. And remember, Mary means Miriam. And Miriam was Moses and Aaron's sister. And she helped deliver Moses from the Nile River. And remember, the child's right there. And Miriam means wished for child, family. Just because the moon has moved on, that does not mean that the picture is still not in play. It is. We are to watch, and I'll show you something gigantinormous right now. But first we'll go over Luke 12, 36. And ye yourselves like unto men that wait for their Lord when he will return from the wedding, that when he cometh and knocketh, they may open unto him immediately. Matthew 25, 1. Then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto ten virgins, which took their lamps and went forth to meet the bridegroom. Now let this sink in. What is the delay of the bridegroom in the Bible? The delay of the bridegroom is the time for repentance. Wait for it. It will not tarry. Family, he's giving us time for repentance. The days of awe, family, and it ends on September 25th, the end of the Jubilee. That means you got about three days to repent. Regardless if he comes right now or not, he designed this for repentance. And just a heads up and a reminder, this is the highest watch time ever in history that anyone's ever seen. Remember, I showed you the comet Nishimura, the dragon that's swinging its tail, is headed straight for Gale on the 26th. Now here's what's extremely gigantinormous about the 26th. And I'll take you to the moon. And as you go through the days to the 26th, you could see right there. The moon is right next to what they call Saturn in what they call Aquarius, the water bearer. But here's what's gigantinormous. It's on the cover pick. On the 26th, the star groom will be with the moon. Right next to what they call Saturn in the water bearer. And most of you know Hosea 6.2. After two days will he revive us. In the third day he will raise us up. And we shall live in his sight. In the third day he will raise us up. And that stands out to me. Because three days after the moon is with the groom. It'll be September 29th. The eve of Sukkot. The feast of tabernacles. The feast of weddings. The last feet date this year on the last supermoon of the quadrilogy. And there used to be a loving sister, I miss her, and her name was Trumpet Sound. And she said that Jesus Christ spoke to her audibly, and he told her, be ready by Sukkot. And I just felt his Holy Spirit, all glory to you, Father. In the name above every name, Jesus Christ. Now back to the groom with the moon. Karma is right there too. But I don't believe in that karma. But that's because the devil changed it. And when you look up what did karma originally mean, it meant action. And as you can see right there, it says it is linked to systems of cause and effect. As well as being a key factor in rebirth. And it's not a coincidence that 3811 karma was discovered on October 13, 1953, the same year that Gale was discovered, 70 years ago. And it's not a coincidence that this star, karma, is right next to 
the star groom in the water bearer. And remember the wise men, they followed the star Aztec. And the star Aztec is now in Precipe, what they call the manger, the crib. And by the 25th, it goes through Precipe. It comes out right on Yom Kippur, family. Wait for it. It will not tarry. The signs are right where he said they would be. So don't lose hope. Keep looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior, Jesus Christ. He's coming immediately.